Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. Uh, it's time for an end of the year uh, video here. And uh, well, there's really not a whole lot to say here, but uh, I, I am going to try and recap the year as it as it has been for me. First of all, you notice there's a lot of hair on my face um, between being broke and being lazy. I decided I was gonna put off shaving until after New Year's and see just how awful it looked and sure enough it looks pretty damn awful. Um, so fortunately um, Amazon in the peculiar way that it that it does every so often came through with an ad for for this little goober it's the wrong kind of straight razor, according to little brother Carlos, who knows a lot more about straight razors than I do, much as he knows a hell of a lot more about cars than I do. Anyway, uh, he and I had a pretty good conversation after after I had already ordered this thing, and um, gave me a lot of useful advice on uh, how to work the how to work the straight razor and not not cut my face off in the process um it turns out i probably should have gotten a a, a regular old-fashioned straight razor but uh, apparently uh, nobody in the states makes those anymore it's all safety razors and three four five six bladed uh, cartridges which are no good for this kind of thing because they clog up almost immediately and you can't get all the hair and soap scum out so that's why I went for the straight razor. Carlos's advice was to go looking for a, a Solingen straight razor or a Japanese straight razor on eBay and I may do that if this gets to be a habit. On the other hand it's going to be tax season pretty soon like in about a week and um, I'll be getting back into the habit of getting up, scraping my face with the, with the Barbasol razors and uh, not needing to hack off a week and a half's worth of, uh, of, of scruff. Um, so anyway, uh, aside from that, waiting for my uh for my january disability to come rolling in um because i i do have presents for family to send out and also a couple of friends are going to be getting things nothing huge but uh part of the problem with sending stuff to friends is that uh in a, in, a, in at least one case i have no idea where the hell they are they they were talking about moving to florida and uh then they had like a major panic attack or something and haven't heard from him in a few days I mean I know they're still alive but that's that's about all I know I don't know if they're still in Virginia I don't know if they're they've completed the move to Florida or they're kind of suspended halfway between the two I, I guess I'll find out when they feel like telling me and till then just um, cultivate patience Keep a close eye on the on the cash flow and just uh, take it a day at a time. So uh, overall, referring to the uh, to the annual by any meme necessary post, which is almost done. I'm, I'm waiting to waiting for the last few days of December to trickle away before I finally put my chop on this. But. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I I don't think it's too um, too far off to say that 2023 has been the best year I've had since I moved out here. Um, you know, aside from well, yeah, well let's take it just one step at a time. Uh, high points of the year, uh, seeing almost all of my DC area friends while I was on the son of the not Balticon excursion, and the reason I call it that is because will be covered in the in the next next point um 
even better than that was getting rehired by the Reno district with a stupidly huge draw. I mean, I have never made 27 bucks an hour at any job I've ever had in my life. So, even though it's only th three months out of the year, three and a half months out of the year, you know, getting paid 27 bucks and change, and, <clears throat> excuse me, getting my uh, hotel and food costs covered while I'm up in Reno, uh, in the re in the tax mines there, you know, that can't beat it. It's 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 just great. Um, <clears throat> other favorite parts of the year, Bad Mike Williamson's Emergency Holographic Convention, Confinement Four. In Lebanon, Tennessee, south of Nashville, um, you know, I didn't have to wait till the last minute to make plans for this, and I didn't have to drive out there either. Thanks be to God. Um, <clears throat> so uh, since I was able to plan in advance, I actually stayed in the convention hotel, which was super handy, um, <clears throat> and I had a good time. Um, finally. Uh, the, the last and perhaps the best part of the year, um, kicking off the inaugural Son of Silver Con in Henderson with Maggie Hogarth, who I've known since we were both on Live Journal together years and years ago, uh, Sarah Hoyt, who and Daniel Hoyt, her husband. It was good to, be, it was good to finally meet both of them. And uh, as it says here, about 50 of our closest friends. Um, it's more like 40. Uh, counting the people that uh, knew they weren't going to be able to sh be there, but <clears throat> paid for their memberships anyway. So, uh, as Dave Butler said, you know, uh, doing the convention, th that was a win, period. Um, so we didn't get as many people as we would have liked. Uh, so my credit cards are pretty much maxed out for the next couple of months. Still worth doing. We're going to do it again next year at the Plaza. Um, if y'all can manage it, uh, come on down. Bring a couple of dozen of your, cl of your close personal friends who like science fiction and fantasy and, and just the basic concept of spending money on people that don't hate you. So, yeah. Um, least favorite moments of the year. Driving from Reno to Provo for Life, the Universe, and Everything, only to f spend less than an hour there because it was woke as fuck. Um, uh, none, none of the authors in the Salt Lake City, Provo, Layton area that I that I wanted to see were there. Um, and so basically all I did there was... Um, <clears throat> was uh, drop, drop the flyers off, um, pick up my badge, <clears throat> go into the dealer's room and uh, did a sweep through. I did pick up a few books. I did uh, hit up a couple of vendors, see if they were interested in the convention. And none of them showed up, which didn't surprise me. So won't be going back next year. Um, the, the it, It's weird. The drive out to Provo was not all that bad. But the way back, oh my God! I thought I was gonna, I, I, I thought I might have been sick or something because I got, um, I left Provo Saturday morning and headed west on 80. And my original plan was to, I had originally hoped to be back in Reno or maybe even Carson City, um, Saturday by Saturday night, but. Uh, hotel prices in Reno on Saturday, while they're not as bad as they are in Vegas on, on a Friday or Saturday night, they still weren't that great. And about the time I crossed the state line at Wendover, I was get, I was pretty ragged. I, I'd only been on the road for two hours. I'd gotten a full night's sleep. I don't know what the deal was, but uh, I decided to, uh, since I hadn't made any reservations in Reno, uh I decided I'd uh, uh, abort in Elko, which is about halfway from Provo to Reno, and um, hit the Basque restaurant there, have a nice, have a nice evening, crash, and 
it didn't work out that way. I got to the hotel, I checked in, and uh, got my stuff upstairs, and collapsed on the bed and did absolutely nothing for about two, two and a half hours, by which time it was too late to go to the Basque restaurant, and I was too tired anyway. Fortunately, the uh, Cattleman's Inn in Elko, if you ever happen to be in that corner of the world, I got a pretty good diner on the premises, and uh, and uh, I was not not displeased with dinner. So the next day I got up, still tired as hell, um, made it to Reno, dropped off some things, picked up some things, thought about putting in the five hours to get back home to Tonopah, and said the hell with it. I went to. Uh, the days in in Carson City had crashed overnight. Got up the next morning, went home. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was ungood. Uh, even more ungood, I would go so far as to say, uh, double plus super ungood, was discovering on Saturday of BaltCon that unless I wanted to put a mask on, I couldn't go to any panels. I couldn't go into the art room or or the dealers room. And um, I have problems with masks these days. I, I, I am not as bad off as Mike Williamson, who literally cannot breathe with the, with the damn mask on. Um, I have more of my lungs left than he does. But still, I, I have a very hard time breathing in the mask. Um, so, I did, uh, essentially... My time at Balticon was wasted. Uh, my membership was wasted. Fortunately, uh, it had been rolled over from previous years, so at least I didn't spend any money on that. But um, I did. Um, I did kick in my share of the room to Mark, and um, yeah, um, the the feedback from the ConCom was was. You know, along the lines of, uh, well, we're sorry you felt that way. And um, so I, I, I don't think I'm going back. I, I'll I'll come back to the D.C. area. I'll see friends and family. Oh, wait, I don't have any family there anymore. What am I talking about? So it'll be friends. Um, and probably just spend a week out there and go back home by way of Vegas. And... Um, you know, that's fine. I, I have other things I could spend that money on. Uh, stuff I had never done before that I did in 2023. Started conventions and parent companies uh, for those conventions. But I've never had to do it practically single-handedly. I, I did not get a lot of help um, from local fandom with the exception of... Uh, Julie Lachance, who was my co-pilot on the Sea Confinement and Die tour a couple of years ago, um, she she helped out in the concom in the con suite rather, and uh, Caitlin Walsh, our staff artist, did just an amazing job of providing art and doing publicity, and uh, which reminds me, it's still over forty bucks for stuff, but uh, yeah, we'll take care of that. Anyway, yeah, this uh, essentially Son of Silvercom was a one man was a one man job for a good part of it, and um, you know we have more people this year, and we're hoping to acquire still more people because many hands will make light work and all that happiness. So we'll see how it works out. Uh, New Year's resolutions. Oh man, I suck at these. Um, I did, I did try to make serious attempts at staying rested non-track dietarily, which were not, which, you know, I'm coming into the end of the year, I'm not as fat as I was at this time last year, which, considering the amount of crackers and cheese and uh, other sugary bad things I've been consuming the last week or so, is kind of, kind of amazing, but... Um, Still, even with that, I'm only eating like two meals a day, and uh, when you do that, and they're not very big meals, the the weight tends to come off. Um, 
I was especially trying to stay rested on track during tax season, and um, that did not work out at all well. Um, uh, I think I, I arrived when I got to Reno in, in early April, I was around 395, and I went over 400 in no time flat. And uh, I think a, a big part of it was that I was just not rested at all. I was working 10 hour days uh, most of the week, with the exception of Saturday when I was only working 9 to 5, and uh, Sundays when we were open from noon to 4. And uh, you would think that would be enough downtime to be to be rested, but it didn't work out that way. And uh, I'm hoping to be in better shape when I go back in, in February and April. We'll see how it goes. And finally, uh, keeping better track of my money and putting more of it away. I actually did a pretty good job of that this year. I did put a lot of money away. Of course, uh, once the... Uh, once the uh, the countdown to Son of Silvercon started, a lot of that money went, got sucked up by the convention, and uh, I haven't done a final spreadsheet on it, but I'm pretty sure the convention owes me a few grand for airfares and hotel rooms and stuff like that, and I'm not even talking my own personal expenses here. So, anyway. Um... I'm not a terribly social person, and most of the most of the holiday celebrations in a, in this little town of Tonopah revolve around drinking, which I don't do anymore. So I tend to stay home and avoid trouble that way. Um, as far as um, as far as deaths in the family and and among my friends. Uh, my Aunt Corrine died in August. We weren't really close. Uh, my mom was on the outs with her for um, reasons that, uh, well, she didn't take him to her grave. She was pretty open about why she didn't she didn't care for Corrine. But, uh, you know, all the, all the people involved are dead now, so it's no point in hashing over it. Um, Um, three of uh, three, uh, a couple of my favorite authors, Michael Flynn and David Drake, passed away this year, and uh, David Drake hit me especially hard because um, I, I had actually met him a couple of times at at Arcana and and Icon, um, and he was I I talked about him in other videos, and I'm not going to rehash that. Uh, he's he's very badly missed, and uh, also uh, William William Hoagie, who is uh, the uh, the technical the tech guy behind uh, the other podcast, which Stacy McCain, Deanna Dealey, and and Bill Hoagie also were, and you're at occasion very occasionally yours truly were part of. Um, he was a he built robots for NASA. And um, he was a pretty good blogger. He, he, he as, as befits someone at NASA, he was very into the star porn. And uh, also, uh, now that he's gone, we are deprived of the, uh, the um, you know, Team Kimberlin News of the Day, in which he would, uh, he would uh, point out the... Uh, the many and various legal and other failings of, of uh, infamous Speedway bomber Brett Kimberlin, noted pro se fa lawyer, would be pro se lawyer. Uh, he was a miserable failure at that too, and and Bill delighted in in uh, recounting the the sad and 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 misguided exploits of Mr. Kimberlin. Um. Let's see. Uh, new people. I finally met Maggie Hogarth in, in Meat Space. Same with uh, Sarah and Daniel Hoyt. And uh, the other 25, 30 people that, that showed up for Son of Silvercon. Good people, all of them. We had a, we had a great time. It was uh, 
kind of like an oversized house party rather than a convention, but everybody liked it. Um, as far as travel went, went to Arizona, Maryland, New Mexico, Tennessee, Utah, and Virginia. Um, I have a note here that Winslow, Arizona sure has changed. Um, the last time I went down there was for Uncle Joe's funeral back when I was still living in Las Vegas. And there wasn't a lot of there there. I mean, I, I did take a, a turn. Th- I, I, I only stopped there overnight. And there was just not a whole lot there. Um, there was a uh, there was a McDonald's. There was a uh, there were there were there was like a truck stop on one end of town, and there was downtown Winslow, about which uh, which was looked like it was pretty much falling apart, except for the uh, standing on the corner sign thanks to the the Eagles who made the town famous. Uh, This time when I went through, there was a Maverick, there was a Walmart, a lot of new construction, so, you know, I'm I'm happy for them. It's a a good thing not to have your your town dying on you. Uh, Things that I wanted to have in 2023 that I did not have in 2022. I would have liked to have had a new pancreas, uh, would have liked to uh, not had leg wounds, and I would have liked to have had a sugar mama. O for three there. Maybe next year. Uh, biggest achievements of the year. Uh, side not to be confused with favorite moments of the year. Uh, biggest achievements: not dying, having the best tax season uh, since I left Virginia in 2015. My last year in Virginia, I made money hand over fist. And, and that's good, because over the summer, I didn't make any. Um, um, and, of course, Son of Silver Con. So. Uh, best thing I bought this year. Um, yeah, fudge from the Uranus Fudge Factory. Go ahead and make the obvious jokes, because they do. Uh, seriously, this, this stuff is just amazing. I, I cannot eat more than half a piece at a time because it's just that rich. And I got the reduced sugar stuff. I don't even want to think about what the full full power um, regular sugar stuff w- would be like. Um, if your pancreas can handle that, I, I recommend it. Um, enjoy the jokes. There's plenty of them. Um, okay. Did you do a lot of drugs in 2023? No, I did not. Um, despite recreational marijuana being legal and stupidly inexpensive at the uh, Shoshone Tribal Dispensary north of Beatty, south of uh, Scotty's Junction, no, I, I had too much going on to get stoned at any point in this year. And um, the one period of the year where I probably could have um, indulged with no... Uh, with no hazard to things that needed to be done professionally and otherwise, I was too broke. So, oh well. Um, I'm happier than last year because I'm not still not dying, still here, much to the stress of people who will not be named. Um, I'm thinner than I was last year, and in terms of cash, um. Uh, the cardboard box fund took some heavy hits, uh, for, thanks to Son of Silvercon. And uh, as I mentioned previously, I maxed out my credit cards, working on getting that back down. So, uh, things I wish I'd done uh, less of uh, video games and, and Twitter, which is now X, but everybody still calls them tweets and stuff. So, yeah, I could I, I could have really uh, benefited by not spending as much time on either of them. Um, We're kind of compromising this week. Um, If you don't read my blog, you're you're probably, well, it's not really my blog. If you don't read the other McCain, you're probably not aware that um, the, the daily blog 
used to be called Live at Five because I'd get up at a, at a disgusting hour of the morning, um, curate the news and some some links to blogs and publish it. And one of the sections had to do with the do with celebrities, you know, Page Six, uh, Egotastic, and other websites chronicling the doing of uh, stupid people inexplicably made famous. And uh, I had to stop after a while. I couldn't do it anymore. I felt like I was coated in slime and needed a hot shower when I when I got done with the celebrity news. So I changed to, over to um, In the Mailbox, which is uh, largely links to various blogs. And uh, tr what I'm trying to do there is give kind of a broad spectrum of libertarian and conservative and Republican um, bloggage. And what I've been noticing over the last month or so is that I was starting to feel the same way towards politics that I had towards celebrity news, like I was, like I was, you know, wading through a sewer, and. Um, so I decided for the for the sake of my own sanity take a week off after uh, after this week's Rule 5 Sunday and uh, maybe pick up the FMGRA the Full Metal Jacket Reach Around post uh, tomorrow tomorrow is Saturday, right? Yeah, okay because um, I just needed a break I mean politics has is, is just gotten really really annoying and disgusting this year and um, you can't even blame it all on one political party I mean both there, there's groups of both parties that I think ought to be you know just just zip tied and thrown into the nearest blue feature because you know they're just horrible human beings but this is politics in 2023 and will probably be that way in 2024 and in the meantime I have bl I have I have links to Bongle. Ah, uh, did you fall in love in 2023? Hell no. Lusted in the heart after uh, a fair number of women, mostly of the 2D variety. And, um, let's see. Uh, significant songs of the year. I rediscovered Creedence Clearwater Revival this year. I, I, they're, they're one of those bands that for years and years, I liked the music, but I never got around to buying it. And I fixed that this year. Um, and the song that uh, that got me to do that was Run Through the Jungle, which, uh, despite what people might say, is not an anti-war song. Um, you know, John Fogarty was interviewed about it, and he said, no, it's actually more about uh, the prevalence of guns and gun violence. It's like, okay, he wrote the song, you ought to know. Um... I didn't see any concerts this year. Um, there was a really, really tempting uh, concert up in um, up in Reno after tax season on the 20th, as a matter of fact. Um, and uh, it featured Gary Newman, Ministry, and Frontline Assembly. Ministry, I could take or leave, but I was kind of excited about it seeing Gary Newman in Frontline Assembly. But uh, tax, the, the last day of tax season was the 18th. And I, I paid for the night of the 18th out of my own pocket because I was not going to drive five hours south to, to Tonopah in the dark. I did that once and I hated it and I'm never going to do it again. Um, But I got up on the eight. I got up on the nineteenth, and I'm like, I just had ten hours of sleep, and I'm exhausted. What the hell? So uh, I I just blew off the the NSAB meeting on the nineteenth, for which I got a black mark on my record. Oh well, and. Um, I I thought for about two nanoseconds of hanging around an extra night and then going to the concert and then and I realized no you need to go home you need to go to sleep so I did 
missed the concert. Best book I read this year? Um, kind of a tough call. I didn't really read any new books this year. At least none that stick out in my mind. If I, if, if I come across some, I'll, probably, I'll put it in the blog post. Um, as far as manga goes, I'm still following Comey Can't Communicate. And uh, to a lesser extent, Spy X Family. Uh, favorite movie of the year? Uh, I rented Zulu, and it was it was just as great as I remembered. Uh, I went to see Oppenheimer, missed it in the theaters. And uh, as far as I can tell, they're not releasing it on DVD, which is kind of annoying because I don't have a Blu-ray player. Sucks to be me. Um, I did finally get around to buying The Death of Stalin which is uh, kind of plays fast and loose with history, but it's hilarious. Lots of lots of uh, dark and morbid humor, just the way I like it. And um, being a former Russian linguist and uh, an appreciator of Soviet history, I got most of the jokes. Uh, great cast. Um, if you have not seen it, I, I highly recommend it. I, d I did not think Steve Buscemi could carry off the role of Khrushchev. I was wrong. Mea culpa. All right. Uh, what did I do on my birthday? I ate way too much cheesecake and uh, an ice cream cake, but my stomach and my, and my pancreas were merciful. Um, later in the week, since I had to be in Vegas anyway, I went down to Fogo de Chao and ate all the meats. Yeah. So I'm 64 now. In case you were, for those of you scoring at home. Uh, things I wanted and got. Um, got the windshield on the Kia fixed during tax season. And uh, Pep Boys took care of the AC while I was out not being at Balticon. So aside from the convention, that's, that's what I spent. Um, those were the big ticket items this year. I don't I don't have any complaints about this year. I mean, there's a question on here. What did you want and not get? I have no complaints. I'm alive. I'm reasonably healthy. I I kicked off a new science fiction convention, which everybody was happy with, and nah, we're we're good. Uh, personal fashion concept. Still, the festive color of my tribe is black. Uh, this hasn't changed. Um. Yeah, and uh, celebrities, public figures that I fancied. Most of the celebrities and public figures I, that uh, came to my attention this year are pretty horrible people. Although Keanu Reeves continues to be an awesome person, and uh, hopefully God will let him stay with us for a while. Yeah. So that that was the year that was. I, I've blathered on for over half an hour. Oh, my God. So uh, I'm gonna get off the get off the camera and uh, have some more of this cheese and crackers, and uh, I think I'll call it a night. Thanks very much for sticking with me, and we'll see you on the other side.